Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Sarah Taylor from the American Pit, and we're hanging out here at Sunfest in West Palm Beach, Florida, with Ben Crane, who's the frontman of Rocket to Anywhere. So, how you doing? How's Sunfest treating you? It's been awesome so far. Been here all five days. It's been great. So, how surreal was it to play yesterday here was, and to open for fans? It was it was freaking crazy for us. I mean, this is the biggest thing we've done um, ever, and uh, just to be here and, and to be put here by fans was the was the best part. Um, to be backstage and be with all these artists. Uh, that we look up to has just been incredible and so yeah super surreal. So you got you got to meet some people then? Yeah we got to meet some cool people and, and Would you, like what bands did you get uh, to meet? We were back with um, Loverboy and Night Ranger, Three Doors Down, Filter, um, we, were, we were back over with Tori Kelly later in the night, um, got, got to hang out with her band and talk to them so yeah it's just been a really cool super super weird and kind of like dream dreamy experience, dreamlike experience yeah. Would you say like that was your favorite part? What was your favorite part of the whole night? Um, my favorite part of the whole the whole thing was probably um, the idea that we you know we've been coming to this festival for a long long time I've been coming here since I was two um, and the idea that we're we're now on the other side of all these bands that we've looked up to for so long um, so kind of the sense of responsibility I guess when we were up on that stage was probably my favorite part honestly yet yeah, it's a little daunting and, and, and uh, to to know that there that you have that responsibility that there's kids out there looking up to you and you know kids that. It could be musicians and, and fellow uh, creatives one day. Um, that responsibility you have to them, that, that was what uh, I enjoyed the most about this, being on that side. So give us a little backstory on the band. It was originally your project, right? Yeah, correct. Um, so yeah, it started as a solo project. Um, about February of last year, we got asked to do some full band shows, and so I recruited some of the guys I've been playing with for, um, a couple of them I've been playing with for five or six years. Grabbed those guys, um, did, did a balcony TV uh, shoot, um, that was our first thing, and then since then everything's kind of snowball. We keep getting kind of these opportunities thrown our way. Uh, we don't really know, you know, just all of a sudden it happens and we're like, let's do it. Um, something funny that we say uh, within the band about all these things that happen is just like, we're, we feel like we're, we're in a video game, we're kind of like leveling up, we're beating like boss after boss, and sometimes you get to skip bosses and you know, stuff like that, and so that's kind of how we feel, just all these things keep happening. Yeah. So for you personally, who inspired you to start playing music? Uh, for, okay, so who inspired me to start? Um, I saw Jack White and Alicia Keys' music video for Another Way to Die from, from the James Bond movie. Um, I saw the video and I was like, I gotta play guitar. And so um, that's what happened. That, that was when I started playing, playing music, started songwriting. Um, so, yeah, Jack White served as a big, a big influence right at the beginning there. Yeah. So you guys are based out of right here in West Palm yeah, Beach. We, we live like two blocks over there. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So how would you say living here has kind of influenced your sound and your music? Uh, for sure. I think it definitely has. Um, we get that a lot when people listen to us. They say um, we sound like where we live. And I think the, the, the coolest part about it is that we live um, so close to the beach. Um, so we kind of we keep that vibe going. But at the same time, we live you know straight in downtown, straight in the city. And so we have that kind of more, um, I guess, urban kind of tone that comes in uh, along with the beach vibe is kind of like where, where those two collide which is just like West Palm beach and the city collide um, and so that's what we you know we like to say yeah I, I like that you couldn't put it better <laughs> all right so you definitely just played a huge festival how do you top that what's next from here well we've got some stuff uh, going on for sure this last month we've been talking to some people um, I can't tell you anything for sure um, but you know that sound that sounds like works. that sounds kind of weird and cliche uh, but I we nothing nothing's for sure right now but there's but there's definitely some stuff coming up that's that's pretty cool and we're excited about so yeah well your fan base definitely just grew like overnight here so is there anything you'd like to say to your fans before we go um, I guess uh, as our whole ethos is a band I guess since we've been doing this everything has been about the fans um, from the very very beginning um, we never do something without first kind of putting it in front of our fans I guess and seeing if, how they respond to it um, from a song that we put in our live set uh, to just various marketing things that we do, uh, various t-shirt designs, all these things, we we always listen to our fans first, then we do them. Um, and we know that everywhere we're getting and, and every opportunity is coming our way is because strictly of the fans. Um, everything, everything that we get to do is because of them. And so to be here, uh, to have played the battle of the bands and gotten to be here, the reason, part of the reason we won is because so many people showed up. Um, and that's something we don't take for granted. And every time we're on the stage, we feel like everybody who supported us is there with us. So, yeah.
Well, thank you again for hanging out with us. We'll let you get back to partying yeah, and celebrating the last night of Sunfest. All right, once again, you guys, my name is Sarah Taylor with the American Pit. For more on um, Rocket to Anywhere, you can check back with us and you can look for our full band interview coming this summer. Thanks. Here's looking at you, here's looking at me. We can't see through this machine. We're part of.